Your DNA is more than what you think it is. Hey guys, happy, how are you doing? Hope you're having a great day. Thanks for joining me on this little clip here. So I'm just going to do a little um, reading on what I got as a download, you know, and it talks about how our DNA is more than um, what it is that we think we are. It, it is, right? Because we only, when we're putting it under the machines, doesn't take an account to the energy or the intelligence or the vibration of it. It just takes in what it's seeing as its structure and we name it what it is and what we think it does right but there's so much more beyond it like we are in physical form but we also have an energetic form and physicality of it um that we don't take in consider consideration of who we are as a being right we just consider the human being the conversion of it and the aspects of who we are showing up as in this reality not really uh, things that are beyond this right because like even like our emotions Right? We can't see them, but we know we, they're there because we feel them, right? You can't see them, detect them, right, energetically um, on a machine, but they're there, right? And so we feel them, which is an indicator that there's more beyond this physical form, right? And so it's just plain to see, right? There's so much more beyond this physical reality that we pretend to be, right? And so that's just the form. So the, what the download is really talking about, and I did a video on being the feelings of being devalued um, at work because it was a client that um, had uh, reached out to me about, you know, no matter what job or thing that she was doing, she was always feeling devalued. Now, and so it's, it's um, something to kind of take a look at with our, our lives because, like, it's, it's more than just an insul ins you know, isolated, insulated um situation it's like every time she goes to a place it's the same thing so it's saying that there's more to it than what's meeting our eye it's her it's not actually the place because she's taking it with her wherever she's going right and so it's whatever she's choosing to do it's what's her frame of reference so um it's everything is perfect right because that's our intelligence system so basically um it's saying uh, so we can see see there is much more going on here than the job per se right it's her not her faults but the default within her which is the dna which is the structure that's telling her that she's off track so um even in seeing things that relates to us that maybe we're seeing you know something's wrong um, it's not really wrong it's right because that's the way it's supposed to be we just don't know ourselves and how our system works right our dna our structures our emotions our feelings we think it's something's off but in the offness it is right because it's telling us that means it's working right your system is working your dna is working it's trying to tell you something because it doesn't talk to us like we talk like i'm talking to you right and so um, it talks to us through emotions feelings doubts um, different things like that which is a reflection to our outer world and then we have the experience reflecting it back and so really it's our intelligence system that's trying to tell us hey you're off track your system isn't but you are where you're going where you're headed it's it's a different track than you're supposed to be on so everything is perfectly divinely on track it's just we're not following the track if that makes sense so it's bringing up the feeling of in that session it was like the feeling of being devalued no matter what job she took because she was devaluing herself which reflected in her jobs in her outside world because she wasn't doing what she's meant to do which is what I'm going to be talking about here. And so there's this divine connection between feelings, which is your intelligence system, your emotional system, uh, that's being devalued at work in her situation and her divine life purpose, right? And so they weren't a match to each other, so she was feeling devalued. And so when you're not doing what you're meant to do, how are you going to feel? You're going to feel devalued no matter where you go, what you're doing in any relationship and anything that you're, experiencing right and so it's going to just become bigger and bigger and bigger and you're going to start seeing it throughout all uh you have like this chart right so you have your work life your family life your um your art no matter it's going to start expanding throughout all those um, systems uh, or i don't want to say systems but all those areas in your life right and so 
um, she was just uh, at the point just experiencing it, not just in her uh, work life, but she was also experiencing it in her like relationships, male relationship devalued. Um, because she wasn't really where she was supposed to be, right? And she was choosing other things other than that, and that created the separation and then the revaluating herself, which reflected in the world. And so she was choosing relationships that um, didn't allow her to be where she was supposed to be, right? And so it kind of made that feeling, that emotion of devalued. So when we're not trying to explain this in a way like when we're not doing the things that we're supposed to be doing or where we are it'll bring up emotions that helps us to become aware of it it's not that anything is wrong it's just the way that we're set up with this intelligence system that it talks to us which is our frame of reference and so how are we feeling like if we were living up to our potential then we would not feel devalued right it's when we're stepping away from our potent our potential that we start feeling those emotions and that's how it's coming across to her and her energetic system. You know, when she felt devalued, it was key, uh, a, a, like a red flag, hey, you're off off tune here, right? You need to get back into alignment. So um, it was carrying from start out in her job and then was starting to go into her relationships and she was having thoughts show up in her relation, uh, mate relationships, right? So, um, so devalue, it's going to be, there's a the divine connection between your feelings your emotions which is your intelligence system of being devalued at work and the infinite life purpose which she was experiencing and it's not what you may think it is right it's beyond what we're experiencing or feeling or seeing outside of ourselves because a lot of times we'll see it as um what they're doing to us right instead of looking within and saying okay why am I feeling this at every job that I go to? Why am I feeling this in, in the relationships that I have? Why are we turning outside in the reflection? Because it's just a reflection of us that's going on within us. And when we're negating it, it brings it up more and more so we can see it until we're ready or wanting to look at it, right? And so that was her experience in the world. And I think that's really a great scenario to share with you because it kind of can give you that frame of reference what I'm talking about when I do talk about things like this um, and so you have a unique DNA imprint that encodes and decodes you to what you are here to do and what experiences you're going to have which is imprinted it is seated in your DNA right and so a lot of us are like oh DNA is like this structure this is what it does right but there's so much more to your DNA than what you're thinking is because it's an intelligence right energy and vibration and so it's the energy and vibration that's like the encodement to your dna right and so it's a structure uh, that surrounds the dna it's within your cells right as well um it's, uh, it's surrounding the dna cells that may that many are not aware of because they're only looking at the structure right and so um, it gives you what you're meant to do in life just as all things uh, have and so the God code and the human code, which is the DNA, the structure, because uh, within that you have the God code, right? Everything has the um, intelligence system of it, not just the physical aspect of it, right? So your heart knows it's an intelligence system in itself. It knows what it's supposed to do, its job. Um, but you can see the heart as a physical form, right? So everything within yourself is both intelligence and a physical form just like you are source in this physical form your heart is an intelligence system in itself knowing what it's supposed to do um, in its physical form and it all makes up the body on every different level so so does your dna and your cells your vibration your energy right you have your thinking and your knowing right there's every everything has an intelligence to its form Right? And uh, just like animals, they have their own level of intelligence to their form. And then within their body, they have all these different um, intelligence within their form that make up the whole thing, which is a structure and DNA of the whole evolution on the macro level. So it's all connected, right? Um, but don't want to really go too much into that because <laughs> you can go pretty deep with it. Um, so it's uh, cells that made up, and then many don't know about it because you can see it, right? Uh, you can't see the uh, the intelligence of it. You can only see the form of it, um, the results of its being itself, which has been created, right? The part of it uh, brings the awareness to it. 
Um, because if we didn't have that, we wouldn't have the awareness to it. And so that's what brings the, the DNA to the structure. So it is written in your DNA structure that you are meant to do in life, just as all things are. Having the God code, the human code is one and the same, but different in parents. It can only be seen by the naked eye, which is one that's not convoluted, which is tainted by the vision of the form, right? It's the source version, which is why it hasn't been found because you can't see it, right? And so you can only see it through, you can't see it through the machines because it's not physical. It is an intelligence, which is non-form. It's a form within a form, but it's not within a form of a physical consciousness form. It is what is put in place before coming here into the physical structure of the human version of itself because you've been thought of about in life. So you're meant to be here. You were created. You were thought of. You've been part of the lineage since the beginning of time. Like you've been accepted into the reality of who you truly are now in the present moment by source, right? So you are divine, um, divinely created, right? Um, it says divine timing, right place, right timing, right? And so it's what you've chosen before coming here. And when you are not in alignment with that, you start to feel it, which is self-projection. You start feeling it within your experiences and things outside of you, whether that's your personal relationships, work relationships, friends, family, um, who you think you are. You start feeling it through your emotions, your vibration and energy, whether it's high or low, if you're feeling mad, angry, happy, sad, uh, whatever it is that's bringing these, the devalue, feeling devalued because you're not doing your life purpose. You're working other jobs and then you're putting on that uh, job what you're doing it for. You know, am I just, and I did a video on that, like I said, um, you know, if you take up a job just to survive and not thrive, you know, where are you? It's devaluation of who you are. And then, of course, that lowers your energy and vibration. So taking a look at all of those kinds of things, right? Um and so self-projection, so whatever we are not in alignment with or whatever we're in line with, it's a projection outside of the world to where we can see it, and it becomes more and more until we see it, right? And so it is what tells you that you're off key because it is a key, right, to the knowledge and awareness of yourself. It unlocks the doors to all things that you're wanting and creating, but also is designed to but also designed to do when you are aware of it, then you know how to utilize it and access it. So when you're able to understand this, what I'm talking about, you're gonna have better understanding of how to work and navigate through it, right? And so um, seeing through that illusion of, you know, they're doing this to me at this job, but it's me who's taking it to every job, right? So that's a good indicator to look within yourself, not outside of yourself. They're just helping you to see it and reflect to it, right? It's what's showing up in your reality to help you see it, right? And that happens on all levels, right? Because it may not be a job, but it may be your personal relationship, right? Your family showing that, your kids showing, your parents showing you, your friends, um, your mates, you know, your animals, <laughs> you know, they're good reflectors especially when they're not in their consciousness in present moment. Um, so they can definitely reflect things back to us. It's just seeing ourselves right in the mirror. Um, otherwise, it just shows up as an emotional or emotion that I'm not aware of that I'm doing or <laughs> where I'm supposed to be in life, right? It's supposed to be, supposed projection reality. Um, it is a part of the emotional guidance system um, that uh, you have within yourself that's talking to you and it is all connected to the one source which is source trying to let you know that you're off track in the universe because source doesn't talk to a lot of people that way because you may not have the um, understanding awareness awareness within yourself to tune in or hearing source talk to you um, uh, from that perspective so it shows up in like emotions and feelings right and intuition so um, it's showing you that the universe, which is called a discourse, so discourse, you're off track, right? Um, you're off your course, dis, separation, off course, meaning you're off track. So this helps you to know yourself and develop yourself in alignment uh, with the true self and defining yourself, not others. So when you uh, go too far out of alignment, there's always something to bring you back, like a radar. So it's your emotions, uh, intelligence system, your circuits, your DNA, your 
you know, intuitive senses, your feelings that help you bring back track, right? It's trying to bring you back within yourself. You've gone too far out, right, from where you're supposed to be in alignment. So when you go too far out of alignment, there's always something that brings you back like a radar. So it is simply a DNA coding that brings you back to where you need to be, which is an intelligent system uh, through awareness and emotions like a GPS tracker. And you have one built in, so you are so much more than you think you are, right? It's just allowing. Um, and so you are a full-on intelligence center that no one really knows anything about because you think you're human. Um, but uh, what they... That's because we've, that's what we've been told, right? And so we just believe it, <laughs> the human consciousness. Um, so they've been told, which is the limited version of the body suit, right? And so that's what you see, not what you know, because you don't know what you see. You see what you believe. And so we are imploring you to learn more about yourself and to dive deeper into yourself to know it in order to gain this awareness and knowledge and take control over your own body or intelligence system so you know how to maneuver through the world um, and so you know and understand your true self so you're not a limited version of yourself because there's much more to you than what appears before you right and that and that's the end of that channeling it says wisdom abounds all right so happy journeys thanks for tuning in and I uh, hope you hopefully that helps if you have any questions drop them below and or you can set up sessions definitely um, check that out all right, happy journeys.